Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do a demo for running stable diffusion on MacBook with the AMD GPU. But uh, the method also applies to the recent uh, MacBooks, which with uh, Apple Silicon, like M1, M2 processor. So I think that the speed may be a little different, but the, the method is the same. You know, if you are not sure about uh, how to install the uh, dependency, please check out uh, my previous video on how to install the Python environment and uh, install PyTorch. All right, let's get started. Uh, install the additional packages, which are diffusers, pip install, diffusers, and the uh, transformers. And uh, another one is accelerate. So which can help uh, to accelerate our computation. So and then press enter. So it will install the three packages and all the dependencies. Yeah, already it will take a while to download and uh, install. All right, yeah, so I think we successfully installed uh, the required uh, packages here, and we can start our stable diffusion test drive. All right, uh, before we, we do that, let's, uh, I will uh, yeah, open the activity monitor here. So it will able to monitor the CPU, the memory. And another thing I want to quickly show is that uh, within the activity monitor menu, there's a window. You can choose the CPU usage. You can also choose the GPU history here. So, so both will be available here. So so as you can see my uh, MacBook, it has two GPU actually. One is the integrated GPU from the Intel CPU. And uh, another one is the AMD uh, discrete GPU, which is uh, 5500M, the mobile version GPU. The good thing about this GPU is that it has eight gigabytes of VRAM, so should be plenty of for our stable diffusion. And uh, as you can see right here, the usage is uh, not uh, a lot here. So, and uh, and on the upside is the CPU. I also show the memory here. So it has a uh, thirty-two gigabytes of uh, system memory. All right, so so let's uh, start our uh, test drive for stable diffusion. So we will need uh, to enter the Python, press enter, and uh, we will need uh, to import Torch. And uh, we need uh, to import uh, the Stable diffusion pipeline from diffusers. And then uh, we need uh, to construct our pipeline. And uh, we will need from a uh, pre trained model. And for the model, I already downloaded it from the hugging face and saved it locally. So my model for today's uh, tutorial is called uh, Wife Diffusion. And uh, in order to save some memory, I will use uh, half precision.
Yeah, so half position is uh, float uh, 16. And uh, for the demo purpose, I uh, will turn off the safety checker. So it will prevent it uh, to, to generate a black image and also can save some VRAM usage. Yeah, so this this is not uh, recommended. So, so yeah, but uh, yeah, after this uh, construction of a pipeline, let's uh, press enter. Yeah, I think I made a typo here. So I will uh, the the revision there's the I missing. So let's do it again. The press enter. Yeah, okay, it gives us some warning about the safety checker, but other than that, others works great. So, so at this stage, we wanted to transfer our pipe to the GPU. So we will need to use pipe equal pipe the two we want to transfer it uh, to our GPU MPS and uh, press enter. So let's pay attention to the to the AMD GPU monitoring board uh, like on the left corner here. So let's pay attention to that. And we will provide a prompt. Best quality, one go. Green hair, sweater. Looking at uh, viewer. Upper body. Beanie, outdoors, water color, night, and the total neck. Okay, and then we can start uh, our process. All right, so let's uh, press enter. And uh, let's pay attention to the AMD GPU monitoring on the left side. So let's uh, press enter. So the initial run will do some compilation, so it will take a while. Yeah, I see. So the the issue here is that uh, it seems that uh, the half position is not supported. So let's let's uh, that's okay. Let's uh, let's we'll use uh, the single position here. Okay. Similarly, let's uh, we can reuse our previous command. And. Uh, for this one, we'll need uh, to make uh, a slight modification. So the two. Yeah, let's make it uh, float so the two. And then we can press it. Uh, and yeah, we need a torch. And uh, let's uh, 
transfer the pipe to our GPU. All right, so let's uh, enter our prompt. And we can start uh, the image generating. Yeah, press uh, enter. Yeah, let's pay attention to the CPU and uh, to the GPU usage. And we can see that uh, there's a progress bar. So that's great to see the speed and uh, the progress. Yeah, usually the initial run will need uh, to do some compilation. So it's a little bit uh, slow, but uh, it's uh, you normally much faster the second time and afterwards. All right, so now we see that it completes. Let's uh, take a look at the generated image, image the show. Well, it looks great. Yeah, as you can see that we successfully generated uh, the image using uh, the PTorch utilizing AMD GPU. So if you have a M1 processor, M1 GPU, you should also be able to generate the image. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's uh, do another run. So, because the second one is usually faster, so let's uh, double check. Okay, let's. Uh, yeah, I will save it just in case. And then we will use the same command to generate another image. So let's uh, press enter. And let's also pay attention to the AMD GPU monitoring here. Yeah, I think uh, as I mentioned, the second time is uh, indeed uh, much uh, quicker. Yeah, second time is uh, indeed uh, much quicker. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, also looks great. Yeah, let's generate it uh, a solo time. Yeah, all right. So let's uh, take a look. Okay. Yeah, I think yeah, I think uh, it looks great. Save it. All right. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, I have. Uh, 
did a test run to use the AMD GPU on MacBook to help generating the image. So I think uh, the speed is the like not ideal because I think this is my first time trying this on MacBook. So I think there may be quite a lot of room to like improve. So yeah, yeah, please uh, give it a try if you have the MacBook with uh, Mac uh, Apple processor or with the AMD GPU. Yeah, please uh, give it a try and let me know like what uh, speed uh, you have. Yeah, all right. Yeah, thank you very much. That's all for today. Yeah, I hope you enjoy my video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel.